Welcome back to Askewed Reviews, and since it's still the month of October, we are still doing some more Halloween specials, and today we are doing the 1978 special, Witches Night Out. Here is your trivia question for today. What do nicely, goodly, malicious, and rotten wish to be at the end of the special? The answer will be at the end of this video. So our story starts off in the house of a witch who's a bit sad and depressed, as no one has needed her magic in quite some time. The local townsfolk are also so busy they don't even know that the witch is there. The kids are getting ready for trick-or-treating, and the adults are getting ready for a party. The kids, small and tender, go out trick-or-treating, but unfortunately they are not getting the desired effect of scaring anyone. When the two kids get back home, they tell their babysitter Bazooey just how annoyed they are that no one was scared of them, and they make wishes that somehow they could be scary monsters. The witch gleefully hears these wishes and heads off right away to grant them. The witch then uses her magic to turn small and tender into an actual werewolf and a ghost, and she turns their babysitter, Bazooey, into a Frankenstein's monster. The monsters then all head off to the adult party, where they begin scaring and terrifying all of the adults. Unfortunately, it turns out a bit bad for them, as the adults band together and become an angry mob. To make matters worse, some of the townsfolk manage to abscond with the witch's wand. Will the witch be able to get her wand back and correct all the chaos? This special was directed and co-written by John Leach. This special is actually a sequel to a Christmas holiday special called The Gift of Winter made in 1974. It stars all of the same characters, nicely, goodly, bazooey, rotten, malicious, small, and tender, but some of the voice cast does change between the two specials. In The Gift of Winter, the cast is comprised of Gilda Radner, Dan Aykroyd, Valerie Bromfield, and Jerry Salzberg. For Witches Night Out, only Gilda Radner and Jerry Salzberg came back. The rest of the cast is comprised of Catherine O'Hara, Bob Church, John Leach, Naomi Leach, who I couldn't find a picture of, unfortunately, Tony Molesworth, and Fiona Reed. The animation for this special was done on cells. There was no rough drawings, it was just ink on cells. In 2014, Witches Night Out was digitally remastered by Mill Creek Entertainment, and it was released along with 10 other classic Halloween cartoons. That same year, The Gift of Winter was also released on DVD that had 10 Christmas specials along with it. So when it comes to the Halloween special, Witches Night Out, I still enjoy this one. I don't think it really stands the test of time, unfortunately, but it is still fun to watch, especially with kids. I will also say that the theme song that they have for it really does get stuck in your head, but I'm going to have to give this one a 2 out of 5. Now, as for the trivia question from the beginning of this episode, what do nicely, goodly, malicious, and rotten wish to be at the end of the special? Nicely wishes to be a vampire, Malicious wants to be a fairy princess, Goodly wants to be Attila the Hun, and Rotten says that he wants to be the answer to a mother's prayer, which apparently is him kind of dressed as a priest with a shepherd's crook and a halo, and apparently enough people had an issue with how specifically religious that was, that most versions that are out there, you can't actually see Rotten being changed into that. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Askewed Reviews, and if there are any other specials or movies that you'd like to see get a review, just mention them in the comments.